Here we are at the Japan Festival, and I'm going to be recording some stuff. I might be getting some interesting stuff to post up on my video. We'll see how things go, and I'll get some fun stuff, and I'll edit it and post it up on my site. As you can see, this place is packed. It's a lot of people here. This is obviously going to be very good and very entertaining. Yes, definitely. So do, do you make these yourself? Are you yes. you're the artist? Yeah, we, no, all of us. Ah. It's a group, a volunteer group in that basket. And the name is Konnichiwa Kuei. So it's a group. We do this and handmade. Ah, cool, cool. So about how long does it take you to make one of the balls down here? One of these is about uh, 30 minutes until one hour. It depends. The big one is more. And uh, this year we will donate to the 10% of our to the Japan Airfake. I bet you have fun making this stuff, don't you? Oh, check out the little egg things over here. Those are kind of cool. Okay, just recently, you know, I told you I had gotten a tattoo. Here's the tattoo that I got, Miku Hatsume. And I want you to check this out over here. Yes, it is, you know, the same woman that I got on my tattoo here on this poster thing. You're supposed to look mean at your opponent.
You can talk about some of the things you did while you were you know, doing the archery because I noticed it was different from traditional archery which is simply you know pulling back and shooting at the target. There's a lot of ritual involved in what you were doing. Okay, one of the key things here. No, there's no ritual. Here is the eight steps. These pictures here include the eight steps that we, that we do. Oh, okay, doke. And it gives balance to the right and left side of the body it centers everything so that when you shoot. Okay, and what's with the shout at the end when you pull when you release? That's uh, that's what's called a yagoe. And we do that as kind of a rebel yell. Oh okay. Thank you, thank you. For Japanese rebels. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you. 